呃，大家好，呃，我是红镇的 Peter Russell。那今天主要跟大家介绍是我们红镇的 AI technology 的应用。那主要有两个应用，目前的应用的话有两个，一个是我们的呃 camera 的 identify 的识别。那我们今天加入这个应用，可以把我们 AI 的技术分别是呃是亚洲或非亚洲人。那我们会利用这个全息投影的技术，突出我们对应的介绍的 opening 的开场开场白。哦，那另外的话，现在目前我们的开场白后面使用的声音，其实是透过我们 AI 的技术做做出来的 A10 的 AI Voice， 我们台我们俗称优声学的一个服务。那这个服务的话，基本上是透过我们的深度学习来产生所谓的台湾话的自然语音。好、哦，所以待会大家可以听听看，我们目前透过文字转语音的服务这样的技术。带给大家的感受是什么？基本上我们希望可以给大家的是不再有机械音，那并且非常的自然流畅耐听这样的一个状况。这是一种新的搜寻模式，快速创新即将到来。微软执行长纳德拉萨电纳勒表示，人工智慧驱动的搜寻是他接掌执行长九年以来最重大的发展，也是云端计算以来最重要的事，是微软巨大的机会。Hi, this is P. N. Garys. OK. So first, I want to introduce our uh, uh, US 3312. It's our uh, two port USB C 4K USB uh, Display 4 KVN switch. So uh, with this uh, this KVN, so user can switch to USB C device with the 4K X60 Hertz Display Port monitors and uh, one USB keyboard and mouse. And this one is our latest the uh, uh, darkings, so which is a uh, UH 3240. So uh, this uh, docking can support uh, two HDMI video interface and support a uh, uh, power delivery at uh, 100 watts. And also we have a SD and micro SD memory card slot and a Ethernet Ethernet port and uh, three USB Type A hub and a one USB C uh, hub. And this one, uh, CS52DP, is a two-port USB-C displayable hybrid cable KVN switch. So user can switch between a one USB-C device and a one displayable PC. And this two is our uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1 extender cable. This one is uh, 10 meters, and this one is 20 meters. Hello, everyone. This is P and George. Welcome to Aten booth of Computex 2023. As you go by the area of workstations, you will see Aten CS1184DP4C. It's the representative model of Aten PP4 Secure KVN series, targeted on the Office Desktop Secure application. An Aten PP4 Secure KVN series is certified with the PSD PP4 compliance and designed to meet the stringent secure security requirements for any dedicated industry that needs to uh, handle the sensitive proprietary or confidential information, such as the government and military agencies, medical and healthcare providers, finance and banking institutions, and more. An Aten PV4 Secure Kevin series has 32 models. Uh, 16 models are with CAC function, and other 16 are without CAC function. And the key protections from its design include isolation and unidirectional data flow, and a restricted peripheral connectivity, a user data protection, and a configurable device filtration and management, and a audio, strict audio filtration, and always on tamper-proof design, keeping your sensitive asset isolated and providing advanced security for your daily operation. Thank you. Hello, this is P and Gary. First, I want to introduce our GCS 1337, which is a gaming KVN. So for the general KVN user, they only need to uh, use the resolution with the 4K and 60 Hz. But for the gaming user, they are required for the higher refresh, refresh rate. So our GCS 1337 can support up to uh, 2K at uh, 144 Hz. Yes, and not only for the uh, and this uh, gaming console, can not only control the uh, PC, but also can control the like PS5, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch, those the gaming consoles. And the next one is GUC8000, which is uh, our the audio mixer. So if you want to be a podcaster, you will need to buy this. Yeah, this, uh, this, this device can support up to four audio inputs, and which including the, the XLR device, and the line device, and the USB-C device. And we have also we also have the uh, up to the uh, A sounds FX, and we have the different uh, different the audio tuning like the you can make your voice like the more more like male or females, 
and we can with the audio re reverb. And the last, last model I want to introduce is UC1940s, which is a, a, for a, a live stream device. So this device can uh, support the four video inputs, which is uh, HDI in, with the HDI interface. So if you are the, the gamers, you want to share the, your game screen with your audience, you can, uh, you can uh, combine the, the, the game screens and the uh, webcam, webcam uh, screen on the one, one screen. So you can share the, 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 the game you play with the audience. And also, uh, if you uh, pu push this knob, you can switch the scene to, uh, on, on the screens. Okay, but also we can uh, adjust the layouts with your scenes and we can save up to eight scenes. And also you want to uh, live stream your, your video to the uh, YouTube, uh, we can also support this. Okay, thank you. Hello everyone, this is PN George. Welcome to ATEM booth of Computex 2023. As you go by the area of conference solutions, you will see ATEM CS1922 ADC, which is tailor-made for the air traffic control application. CS1922 ADC is two-port USB 3 4K display port KVN switch for air traffic control. The user can control two display port computers and share two USB peripherals via one set of USB display port console. As it's crucial for the air traffic control room to constantly monitor mission critical situations and processes, CS1922 ADC is equipped with the following main features. First, it supports 2K by 2K resolution, dedicated for the radar monitors, and it also supports the resolution up to 4K 60 Hz. Second, it's equipped with the feature zero second switch. Let's see how it works. As you can see, the user can switch between different computers without any delay or black screen. Third, it's equipped with the dual lockable DC jacks, which ensures power redundancy and minimize the risk of accidental disconnection. It also has the power redundancy buzzer. Once if one power is failed or disconnected, the buzzer will notify users of the event of power failure. In conclusion, using ATEN CS1922 ADC ensures constant and in uninterrupted operations in an air traffic control. Hello everyone, welcome to ATEN booth. Uh, this year, our slogan is bring into visual intelligence. And this is our meeting scenario. And for the meeting room, uh, what features uh, we bring you to this year? We start from our room booking system. As you can see, this is our booking panel. And after you book the room, you will see the light is turn, turn to red. That means that we can do the automation. Uh, we can turn the light, the air con, and we also can turn on uh, the meeting room equipment as well. And after you finish the meeting, you just a single click to check out the room, and light will turn to green and also we'll turn off everything as well. So that's what we call the automation to integrate with our room booking system with console system. And let's move to the console system to see what we uh, bring you to the new features. In the meeting room, uh, actually we have two scenarios here. First one is a conference room, and the second one is a hard space room. And I'm going to introduce for the conference room. As you can see here, this is our touch panel. The touch panel is a console interface over console system. And this uh, touch panel, the user interface is totally customizable. And as you can see, we design this uh, user interface for this year. Uh, this is the multi viewer console page of our VP new products. So you can also to see on the screen after I press any layer button, and the screen will change it automatically. Also, a new feature this year. This is a 14 button and there's a two buttons. For the top one, this small, pa small panel shows the meeting details. The message is actually from looking, uh, room booking system. So I can actually book a room from this small panel. For example, if I want to have a system meeting, meeting, meeting just sim sim uh, simply click the button and the, book, the meeting room has been booked by me also you will see the notification. So this is also a new feature to integrate with room booking system and also our control panels. Another new features 
This is what we call the, uh, the app switcher. It's also a new feature. You can install any apps on this control panel. And with this uh, app switcher new feature, you can switch anyone at any time. For example, I just switched to Zoom control. So this is the original control panel from Zoom runes. So I can turn off the video, turn off the variant, and also I even can control the camera. See, all right? So this brings you the, the total control capability just through our control panels. I'll give you another example. I switched to the control app of our VP device. So I can switch any source to any display. And you will see the results automatically show on the display. And after the control, you can switch back to our control systems app. So this is the, our control system app. So with these two new features, you can uh, book the room, extend more time, just stay on your seat, or you can launch any app installed on these control panels. That's very convenient for you to do the control or to host your meeting. And this is uh, another product. This is our control pad. It's a small control bus, and we have a new uh, kit for, for this control bus. We call it a tabletop kit. This kit is very nice. You can put on the table, or you can even mount it on the wall. It, the control page it can also be synchronized as well. This is another, another new hardware, our 8-inch touch panel. Uh, you see our 10-inch before, and this is the 8-inch one. Uh, this one is, looks very nice. It was a narrow bezel. It can be fit well uh, on the wall. And see, we can have the same UI design, and this control can be all totally synchronized with our another panel. And also, it's, uh, it's also support PoE, so only one is on the cable, you can do the installation. Hello everyone, my name is David. Welcome to the Atom booth. Uh, it's 2023 uh, in the Computex. And here we, we are going to demonstrate uh, a very, very good solution for a small meeting room. Uh, because normally small meeting room, they need a very, very convenient way to share many, many ideas. So here, uh, we are going to present to you a wireless presentation solution. So uh, like here, we have a notebook. The notebook connect uh, nothing. There is no physical cable connect to this cable. And there is a 4K wireless presentation switch in here. So we can simply just connect to the same Wi-Fi and click share. So the everything in the notebook content will share to uh, this monitor. So it's a very, very convenient for multiple users in a small meeting room. They want to share their idea together. They don't need to have a physical USB cable uh, connect to each uh, laptop. Just use the wireless way to do to do that. Also, if you have uh, uh, like an Android pad, so you can also do the same thing with uh, Android pad or iPad. We have an app for your Android pad. So exactly same app and just click the share, uh, share button because this wireless presentation switcher supports up to four users uh, share their screen concurrently. So right now you can see the uh, 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 Android pad screen and also the notebook screen. So this is our 4K wireless presentation uh, switcher. And another thing I'm going to introduce to you is uh, uh, UH3239. It's a USB hub, and this device is uh, use, pretty useful for the uh, uh, recent meeting room. Because in the meeting room, when you're doing the um, uh, 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 remote, uh, like a Teams or Zoom during the meeting, normally you need to share a lot of uh, camera devices in the meeting room. For example, right now we have a camera over here, and we have another camera on your laptop. And sometimes, uh, just like what I present before, uh, we have a 4K wireless presentation switcher. Other people will use that to uh, do the wireless sharing. So by using this uh, uh, small uh, adapter, connect to your laptop. And then your laptop can identify the three cameras uh, here. And then you can share everything to uh, uh, via Teams or Zooms to remote users. So right now, the camera, uh, the uh, the laptop already detect the camera over here and switch to another one. This is from uh, this camera and another one. This is 
from our uh, wireless presentation uh, switcher, just like what I introduced before. So this is, uh, this is a very good idea uh, and solution for the small and hard meeting room. Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome to ATA International Booth in Computex 2023. I'm Product Manager Willy, and today I will guide you through our latest server room solution. First, in the uh, server room, IT manager need to manage many server storage and network switches. So how to improve their efficiency? Uh, we recommend our A10 REC KVN and also our LCD KVN because uh, IT manager can manage those equipment centrally and locally with one set of keyboard mouse, just like this one. Okay, Our CL38 uh, 84 NW LCD KVN. Here, it can support up to four devices with HDMI interface, and also it has a wide screen, and also it has the quad view, okay, like this one, and also uh, it's a dual rail design, so you can pull back a uh, keyboard and leave the screen on. And also, if users would like to manage it, uh, those equipment over the internet from the client PC, then we recommend our KN, uh, our over IP KVN, KN1108 uh, VA, and also, we are our uh, Red Dot awarded uh, brand new uh, KG002032 uh, Omin Bus Gateway. This model is uh, Red Dot awarded, and also uh, it has all digital architecture. They can provide even better quality. And the distance between the gateway and the server is up to 100 meter. Besides, there is an excellent feature uh, people can monitor the multiple screen through our panel remote and the panel remote is like a live streaming so it's just like this one and then the other window they can uh, access one of certain servers so the monitoring and the operation can be done at once besides in our server rack we have pdu for the power management and also for the environmental monitoring and we also have our pg our new product Reta awarded it's that here Okay, our 90A, uh, A30 uh, models. These models uh, support the three-phase power, so meaning this video is more energy efficiency and also can save more customers' uh, electricity expenses. So, at the end, to manage so many ATEM products and IT equipment, uh, we can use our CC2000, our software, it's a centralized software, to manage it, everything, okay? So this is all about our server institution. And for the further information, please come visit our website at www.aten.com. And thank you very much. OK, uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is PN Hank from uh, A10. And today, I'm going to introduce our uh, KE sling matrix and also plus uh, our CN1284 solutions. OK, so we start from the, uh, our sling matrix. Our, uh, first of all, our sling matrix is uh, support for some small-scale control room for uh, let users maybe they don't want to use uh, centralized management, and uh, our so our sling matrix is very uh, useful because uh, this sling matrix we can switch different servers by our predefined hotkey without any uh, centralized management software. So, for example, we can use hotkey. Uh, we, we can use hotkey like a control plus F1, F2 to switch port to switch to different servers. As you can see, uh, we just can switch different port by our predefined hotkey. And this layout is uh, implemented by the CN1284. And this CN, CN1284 it provides different different multi view layout by like two by two and also page in page features. So it's uh, it's up to uh, the users in control room. It looks like what what uh, what layout what they want to use. So this is today my presentation. Thank you. Um, hello, good morning. My, my name is Joey. I am a product manager of A10 in charge of the smart manufacturing solution. Okay. So when we talk about the smart manufacturing solution, we usually um, uh, we usually focus on the topics like uh, the minimization of the downtime, improvement of the human to ratio. Uh, human to machine ratio and also doing the automation and also reducing the manpower okay so and our A10 RCN solution is just the solution for achieving those goals because uh, we have different types of the RCN hardware products like the single port KVN over IP multi port KVN over IP and also the KVN extender RCN models 
And also we have the Arsyn API for users to do the um, system integration. And also we have the powerful uh, centralized uh, management software, the Arsyn MMS, that allows users to manage, man manage all the Arsyn devices. So here I would like to have a quick demo for you. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of different types of Arsyn hardware devices. So by connecting our devices to the production machine properly, then you can um, easily use our RCMMS to do the multiple functions. So as you can see, we have the panel array and the users can um, monitor all the machine status uh, in the panel array mode. And also you can use the use like the individual monitoring window and you can check the detailed status uh, by each production line machine. And if you found that there's any abnormal issues, you can just double click and do the instantly remote access and remote control. It'll pop, it will pop out the viewer and then you can just do the remote control and fix the issue. And also we have the error detection and also uh, we have the uh, automation of the keyboard mouse sending by scripting, <coughs> scripting the, um, the flow chart. So here I would like to show uh, error detection for you. For example, like uh, now we are at the normal situation, the green light, but when the industrial light turns to the red light, then it will come like a, a, an arrow. And we can uh, directly uh, detect the arrow happen. And then, and then try to fix the arrow. Okay, so our a RCN solution provides not only the hardware devices and also provide the RCN API for users to do the system integration. And also we have the power for RCN MMS. Um, so our a RCN solution is the best partner for the smart manufacturing solution. Okay, thank you.